Well, hospitals in Gaza have not been spared from the Israeli aggression. The humanitarian aid NGO Doctors Without Borders has strongly condemned Israel's Monday attacks on Gaza's Shifa Hospital. And now the executive director of another major medical center in Gaza, the Wafa Hospital, tells Press TV the medical supplies are running out in the besieged territory and that the existing hospitals cannot accommodate the rising number of deaths. Wafa Hospital on the 23rd it was destroyed completely. All the complex of three buildings was destroyed. So the Israelis uh, did deprive the Palestinians from having medical rehabilitation after their injuries. The Shefa Hospital yesterday was also targeted, but uh, there was a building minor damages. The over 6,000 injured people in Gaza, uh, more than 30% of them, they need medical rehabilitation. Right now, there is no place for them to go, but to go to their home. And even their home are not there anymore. And the hospital needs to release these patients so it can accommodate the new injured ones. So these people injured, they will be a burden on their family because they're moving from one place to another. So I have heard many of them that they left the injured one at home because they cannot carry them, they cannot give them the medications. Many of them died in their homes or buried over the rebels. And by the action of the Israeli destroying El Wafa Hospital, they have created a new segment in the society that is handicapped, uh, unable to get the proper medical rehabilitation to live a normal life. We are unable to deal with the many injured and killed people in Gaza. Our freezer is full. We have to rent a truck that is used to transport vegetables and milk from the farm to the market. So we are using them as a freezer for the dead people and the martyrs. Uh, the medical system in Gaza in need of medications, uh, life-saving medications. Right now it is scarce and blockade from the Egyptian side, from the Israeli side. Uh, we are unable to get any medications.